What's good, what's good, and welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. Good morning from South Africa. We're gonna go over Polygon. We're seeing some reversal patterns. I was gonna go to the Sunday market today, but we might see a breakout here. So I wanna go over Polygon quickly. We're sitting at $1.39. We're up about 4% in the last 24 hours. We're sitting at a market cap of 9.05 billion. 24 hour volume is 876 million. Guys, if you're new to crypto.com, sign up to the world's fastest crypto growing app and grab one of their incredible Visa cards for free Spotify, Netflix, travel incentives, as well as Prime. All right, guys, $25 in crypto just for signing up through my referral. So we have an ascending triangle here, which is a bullish pattern. I'm just gonna move this over a little bit here. And we are currently have come up to test the neckline. We've had quite the little breakout for Ethereum here. So if we break out here, we back test the neckline, or we simply break out, we break right above it here, then your target is up at $1.46, which lines up with a previous level of support and resistance here. So you can see this line here, you can see the support in this area. Previous resistance here, if we scroll back, I'm just gonna open it up onto the four hours so it's more visible. So you can see there was some support in this area, resistance right here, and support where these wicks came down to as well. So you can see here on the four hour chart, we're just starting to push back above the four hour EMA. So if we are able to get back above that and hold it as support, that would also be a bullish signal. Just be careful of a fake out, guys. We've had multiple fake outs over the last week or so. And it is the weekend and you can see here we had a reversal pattern we broke slightly above the 20 ema and then we just rolled over once again on the four hour chart so do keep an eye on that wait for your confirmation if i pop it back over to the hourly here wait for you to hold the level of support of the neckline of our ascending triangle if you see a back test and you see continuation then that's a good time to enter your trade. Guys, make sure to sign up to Bybit for up to $600 in bonuses. They have leverage trading. They also have spot trading available. That's where I do my trading for Matic, and you can sign up through my referral. All right, guys. So we'll look at Matic on the daily chart. We are just getting back above the 55 EMA here, so also keep an eye on the 20 EMA on the daily. It lines up with this level of support and resistance that we had dropped in at $1.41. We may come up and hit resistance there at $1.41. Good, good opportunity to take some profits if you enter a long trade. All right, guys, if we look at Ethereum, Ethereum has completely broken out of its ascending triangle on the one hour. The target is up here at 3504. As you can see here, we've seen a nice little spike in volume. Just, just trade cautiously, guys, as it is the weekend, and we have had those fake outs recently if we look on the four hour time frame you can see we're pushing back above the 20 ema which we have not done since we went through our crash you can see we came up we hit resistance on the 20 ema so this is the first time we've pushed back above the 20 so if we can get up to this price target at 3505 and get back above the 55 beautiful sign of strength that will head up to 3575 and then basically all the way up to this previous level of support at 3846 all right guys but keep an eye on the 55 ema we may get rejected if we do get rejected we see that rollover then it was just a bit of a fake out and we're going to see that continuation okay so we're here on the daily chart so currently we're hitting some resistance on the 20 ema but if we do make it up to this price target we will be pushing back above the 20 ema so if we're able to do that going into tomorrow we hold the support of the 20 ema that would be a beautiful sign of strength and that we'll see ethereum see that continuation but of course if we get rejected we come back down to these levels of support three three five six and then we also have some support down here in this area. See the support right here? We had support in this area as well. So we'll drop a little price tag there as well. 3202 for Ethereum. All right, guys. So we'll finish the video off for Matic. Wait for your confirmation. Wait for your back test of support to enter your trade up to $1.46. If it is a fake out, guys, and we do roll over, then we have this major level of support at $1.29 support right here. Support all in this area, support, support. This is the level we've been bouncing off of since we went through our crash. So we are creating a strong level of support here. And that gives you a higher likelihood of a breakout back to the upside, all right guys? So $1.46 is your target. And then your next price target would be back up at the golden ratio at about $1.54, which was a previous level of resistance. Had resistance right here. We had resistance right here. If we open up the chart here and we look at $1.54 on the daily, you can see here previous level of resistance, previous level of support at $1.54. So that's pretty much it for Matic. Wait for your back test of support here. 
and see if we're able to get back above the 20 EMA on the four hour. We have not been able to do that. We got rejected, rejected, rejected by the 55. So over the next six to 12 hours here, if you see us come up and start to use the 20 EMA as support, that will give you a higher likelihood that we're going to come up to this price target and head back up to the golden ratio at $1.54. So that's it for this one. Smash that like button, guys. Shout out to the Patreon. We have over 1,000 members. We're posting chart patterns. We're posting breakouts. We're posting reversals. Price of a coffee. You can sign up through the Patreon. All right, smash that like button. See you in the next one. Much love. Take care.